go. Stansmore Wilson on the inside. Peacock on the outside. The green drops were away in racing. It's a good start from Max Wilkinson right into the bumper of Isabella Stansmore Wilson. But Amy Peacock rides it out all the way around the outside. And Oscar War's already into retirement. War is off already then on the opening lap. Is that a, a case of oiling up in the same way that Ben Adrian did? Wasn't a slow start though, so Whoop. it seems unlikely. Who's round at one, Tom? The cone on the inside of hairpin one oh, got, uh, got oh. clattered. Yeah, that's in, right in the middle of the uh, in the drink at the moment. Right here we go. Do you think the plan here is going to be Amy Peacock try and stay with and push Isabella Stansmore Wilson away and turn it into a two-cart race, or do you think that Isabella Stansmore Wilson, the pace that she's had so far today, Tom? might have too much for the field. If Peacock's going to get past, she's got to get past now and hold back Stansmore Wilson yeah. rather than mm. try and follow in the wheel tracks. Let's see how sharp Amy Peacock's elbows are going to be in this final. They've been pretty sharp throughout the day, uh, which we've been congratulating her on. Yeah, good opening lap for Rossi Costello. Send it here. Up from fifth into fourth place. Alex Lynn with a good start as well. Tom ninth up to P5 at the moment. Melissa Adrian for company. She's gone seventh to six on that opening lap. Joseph Yao moves up from tenth into P7. So some big jumps. Fortunately, Freddie Witherington drops out of third pl uh, fourth place down into eighth. <coughs> yeah, for me, this is a case, Tom, do the... Do they try and push? And they are opening the gap up at the moment. <coughs> Isabella stands more to Amy Peacock. If they work together, they've got a good chance of a one-two. If they back each other up, they might not stand on a podium at all. Well, the thing for Peacock is she hasn't got the time to, uh, to find out whether she's got the pace to stay with Stansmore Wilson it's got to be sent early and passed and then she can find out if she's got the pace for Stansmore Wilson it's got to be her in front to uh, to make it work it's uh, she's just sitting there in the slipstream at the moment of Stansmore Wilson I could be I could be very wrong uh, don't tell the wife uh, <laughs> as they say but uh, I could be very wrong about the uh, I don't doubt you for one minute, Tom. I think you're always right, except on the occasions when you're not. Yes. Well, that's the... Uh, uh, yeah, you're 100% correct. Personal best for the <laughs> top three. Max Wilkinson has managed to break free ever so slightly because Alex Lynn is up into fourth place, Rossi Costello down into P5, and then it's Melissa Adrian and Joseph Yao. <coughs> Gap between the front two is as big as it's ever been. Two tenths. Yes. <laughs> it's and close, isn't it? It is, but Peacock is uh, using the slipstream down the back straight to close back in. There's uh, Max Wilkinson in third, Alex Lynn fourth. Uh, showing well Alex Lynn in fourth, actually, after a difficult uh, heat three, was it, or heat two? Uh, had, a, had a few spins and things. Uh, Rossi Costello in fifth. Melissa Adrian in sixth. Joseph Yao seventh. Riley Sims Ezard eighth. Samuel Yeadon ninth. And Freddie Widrington in tenth. Samuel Yeadon, in fact, took eighth place away from Riley Sims Ezard on that lap. Personal best for Lynn and Rossi Costello, fourth and fifth, respectively. Lynn is right on the back of Max Wilkinson. And Melissa Adrian is off on the outside of the national loop from sixth place. Seniors making their way through at the moment. It's Pitt Morris leading. The senior class from Andy Collins and Paul Swan and Owen Marquis, but Melissa Adrian, the cart being recovered back onto track. So I think she could be rejoining, although she's having a look down and the cart's being pushed back in the wrong direction. Melissa Adrian's not going to go too far, Tom. That's where they, uh, they're camped up there anyway. And uh, she's going to head straight back to the van. I don't even think she's going to watch the end of this race, unfortunately, for Melissa sat in the van with the helmet on for quite a while I think uh, oh well yeah I passed them on the A19 and she'll still have the lid on yeah A1 <laughs> on the way back to Lincolnshire uh, Holly Swan gain, gaining uh, a couple of places on that lap as well of course one of them being uh, Melissa Adrian change for the final podium place as well now sees Alex Lid in front of Max Wilkinson and up into third place contact warning for Oscar what is he back he is yeah, back. back he is back Oscar's back and he's got a contact warning as well. He's 
got but the red, got he's the red mist. <laughs> yes, he's a lap down, so I don't know what the problem was when he came in and had it fixed, but he's picked up a contact warning. He's in the uh, sort of vicinity of Ben Robinson, William Howard, Holly Swan. Albeit a lap down. Albeit a lap down, yeah. yes. Has got some clear track in front of him now. He's going to uh, just try and get some, some laps in here. But, uh, well, well you never points. know, do you? There's a, there's a long way to go in this yeah. race. Very, very tough opening few rounds for Oscar War. Arguably for me, given that he took it to Fox Whiteley and Addison Smith at times last year, was the pre-season favourite for this championship. And he's had tough opening two rounds. He's got to go perfect now from rounds three through to round nine with the seven of nine to count. Rossi Costello went very, very wide through hairpin one. Just almost too much grip. The, um, the the wheel was the rear wheel was up in the air about two feet and Joseph, and, uh, Yow, and Joseph Yow took advantage and went through yes indeed and we've got contact warning in fact for Joseph Yao uh, I'm not sure he could have done much to avoid um, Rossi Costello there but uh, but a contact warning nonetheless Yeadon up to P7 Sims Ezard Widrington and Ben Adrian round out the top 10 Peacock took a tenth out of Stansmore Wilson on the previous lap, and we're only at half race distance here. Has Peacock gone long on setup for tyres, Tom? Well, there's one way to find out. Uh, let's keep watching. <laughs> yes, it was five minutes and 44 seconds plus a lap to find out. It's not, I mean, it is dry out there, but it's not dry, dry, is it? <laughs> it's not fully dry. But uh, Stansmore, uh, sorry, Stansmore Wilson is being closed in at a rate of knots now by Peacock. Three tenths faster and the fastest lap of the race from Peacock that time around. And she's right back on the tail yeah. of Stansmore Wilson. On this track that Tom says is dry, but not dry, dry. Yes. Out there. <laughs> Some expert uh, weather knowledge by Tom Butterworth. <laughs> Amy Peacock closing in on the back of Isabella Stansmore Wilson. And is right on the back and is going down the inside into South Bank. Stansmore Wilson rides it out. This time at least, is it only a matter of time? Amy Peacock coming strong with five minutes to go in Junior Rotax. Not sure whether Stansmore Wilson has eased off or whether it is. Oh, it, it isn't. It's Peacock with Peacock. a massive increase in pace as she tap, tap, taps on the back of Stansmore Wilson across the start finish line. Stansmore Wilson, if she wasn't aware of uh, Amy Peacock being there, she definitely is now. Peacock's going to get a contact warning for that. She just got so much overspeed, didn't she? Over start finish. Yeah, I think he just caught her out a bit, to be honest. But uh, oh, at hairpin one, Rossi Costello levers Samuel Yeadon wide into uh, hairpin uh, number one, and Yeadon uh, immediately passing back down the back straight as well <clears throat> as they head into South Bank. Stands more Wilson, <laughs> and I'm suddenly losing mm. my voice. And stands more Wilson had a little bit of a wake up there, Tom. Peacock's I think it was away by a tenth or so as Stansmore Wilson sets Im the fastest lap of the race. Immediately responds. Absolutely, there's been a wake up there, an espresso it was into the eyes of Isabella Stansmore Wilson as she she was backing it down a little bit. I think not, you know, maybe five percent only, but uh, was definitely backing it down. And uh, Peacock has taken that invitation and run with it. Down oh, she's, got, she's so much faster down the back straight as Peacock. Why didn't she pull out? Well, she tried it on the last lap, didn't she? And then couldn't get down the inside. Slid wide. <coughs> I get the feeling it's got to be there, though, hasn't it? We've got places where you'd normally overtake. Hairpin one is not as accessible today because of the puddle on the inside. Yeah, it's almost one line through there. There's almost no overtaking through hairpin one. Uh, just because of the uh, the width of that puddle, although it is drying out very much so, but not dry, dry. The uh, the battle for third place is raging as well, with Alex yeah. Lynn and Max Wilkinson going at it, hammer and tongs. Peacock with the switch back alongside Isabella Stansmore Wilson down the back straight, and now is where she gets to open up the engine of the Junior Rotax. And Amy Peacock is down the inside of Isabella Stansmore Wilson. The front two on the grid at the start of this race. Stansmore Wilson 
was leading. She's back down the inside of Amy Peacock at the final corner and Stansmore Wilson wrestles the lead back. Yeah, perfect slide job on the exit of hairpin four for Stansmore Wilson. Got the car right in front of where Amy Peacock wanted to position it. And uh, Alex Lynn still leading Max Wilkinson, Wilkinson for third place Ooh, as no, well. No, Tom. No. Oh, no. yeah, maybe, maybe. I'll let you know. Yes. Yep, still holding on as Wilkinson got down the inside. And Peacock and Stansmore Wilson have uh, switched back again, uh, heading through hairpin two. And they're side by side down the back straight once again. Peacock with so much more speed out of hairpin two. Yeah, but now she's going to slide wide. And Stansmore Wilson is back down the inside. Minute and 40 to go here at Teesside. And Amy Peacock tight onto the rumble strip, squeezed to the inside by Isabella Stansmore Wilson through the D chicane they go absolutely nothing between them less than a tenth who wants this the most is it going to be Peacock is it going to be Stansmore Wilson that's going to be your winner uh, whoever wants this one the most Peacock is she going to send it down the inside of hairpin one you've got to feel that if it was dry there she would have done back down the back straight though we know she's got a lot of speed on senior watch it's Pitt Morris leading from Andy Collinson and there she goes again pulling out down Pen the back straight yeah oh mechanical flag Ben Robinson I'll figure that out I think she gets down the inside but does she need to sort of blend out yeah, of the exactly. a bit well no right not, the way around the not outside. that time she didn't no, uh, no. managed oh. to hold on there uh, Ben Robinson rear bumper hanging off the right side is going to bring his day to a premature end he's in the middle of a battle at the moment though with Freddie Lloyd at the front with 37 seconds and two laps to go. Amy Peacock in front of Isabella Stansmore Wilson. Yeah, Peacock uh, pulled away slightly through the uh, final part of the lap. As they head through hairpin two and Peacock is just going to gap Stansmore Wilson down the back straight. Yeah, technical defect then for Ben Robinson. Five seconds on the clock. It will be the last lap when they come through this time. <coughs> Battle for third place now sees Max Wilkinson in front of Alex Lynn. Lynn put up a valiant effort. If you've never seen a man have kittens in his life, find Daryl Peacock on the bank at the moment because he is going to be the most nervous man Probably not even in the north of England, in the northern hemisphere, as Amy Peacock holds on from Isabella Stansmore Wilson. Peacock goes wide on the power, down the back straight, a look over the shoulder for Amy Peacock. She's been racing here at Teesside Autodrome for four years. She never won a final in Honda Cadet. Last year, she never won a final in Minimax. Today is the day. For Amy Peacock, out of the final corner, she wins for the first time at Teesside. Amy Peacock from Isabella Stansmore Wilson and Max Wilkinson will complete the podium in junior Rotax from Alex Lynn, Joseph Yao and Samuel Yeadon, your top six. Rossi Costello will come through in front of Riley Simsezard, Freddie Widrington and and Ben Adrian. And Stansmore Wilson there gave absolutely everything she had uh, to take that victory away from Amy Peacock, setting a personal best on the final lap of the race. Couldn't get the move done. Amy Peacock, congratulations. Your senior class uh, has gone to Pitt Morris from Andy Collinson and Paul Swan. Uh, they're your top three in that. Owen Marcus finishing 17th overall and uh, uh, fourth place in class in that one. So your top ten went Peacock, Stansmore Wilson, Wil uh, Wilkinson in third. Then it's Alex Lynn, Joseph Yao, Samuel Yeadon, Rossi Costello, Riley Sims, Ezard, Freddie Widrington and Ben Adrian, the top ten in juniors. Tough break for Isabella Stansmore Wilson. She's been sensational all day. But every now and again, you sort of get a little bit emotional about results. And that has been a long time coming. Oh, it has. For Amy Peacock. Should have won finals in Cadet. Yep. Should have won finals in Mini. Yep. It's been a long time coming. 
the hard work been put in by her, her dad, Daryl, yes. to get to this point. And, to and I imagine right now there's going to be a huge outpouring of emotion in the uh, Park Ferme area with Daryl and Amy.